Notice something that sounds unpleasant on this hour 18, but could be a game changer in the fight against COVID-19. Chicago researchers are now testing sewage. The goal here to zero in on communities where the virus is surging. CBS 2's Suzanne Lemigno joins us now with more on the work being done by researchers at UIC. Well, Marie, they haven't found any clusters of COVID-19 cases yet in communities, but the goal is to be able to see what zip codes have the most cases. That way, that gives health officials advance warning of any outbreak. For the past four weeks, researchers at the UIC School of Public Health have been analyzing sewage from three Chicago-area wastewater treatment plants located on the west, south, and north sides of the city. The samples are kept in one-liter bottles like this. Dr. Abilasha Shrestha says they're looking for the COVID-19 virus in these samples. By analyzing the sewer water, you can find out when an outbreak is going to arrive. You have like a week's notice before an outbreak happens. People who are uh, infected with this virus, um, they start shedding the virus in their stool right away, even um, before they start showing symptoms. Shrestha says the research funded by a $1.25 million grant from the Skokie-based Walder Foundation is a game changer. So we will be able to identify hotspots. She says it's an early warning for health officials to prepare for cases and to combat COVID-19 in communities. They can use um, this information to deploy resources such as like outreach intervention campaigns like hand washing, wearing masks to neighborhoods where, you know, we see and detect that the virus are increasing in their wastewater. As recently as September, scientists and researchers in nearby Madison, Wisconsin, were analyzing wastewater samples to get an idea of the level of coronavirus in communities. Last month overseas, scientists were able to detect a surge in COVID-19 cases among asymptomatic people in a town in the United Kingdom. Now, this type of testing, it's not new. It's been used for decades to detect viruses like polio. Marie. Suzanne, do we know, are they looking at any other ways that this testing can be used? You know, they can use it to see if the interventions that they implement, if they're working, like telling people in communities where they see a surge to wear more masks, to wash their hands. And you know what's also really interesting, Marie, they can see as well, once the vaccines are out there, if people are taking advantage of getting vaccinated against COVID-19. Interesting. Okay, Suzanne Lemignot, live for us. Thank you.